Yo, what's going on, guys? What MJ is doing? AKA Mox Mox Game King! Mox, the bit of the video, and uh, your boy is back <laughs> with another video. Um, something exciting dropped today. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to upload today, but, you know, I, I felt motivated. I, you know, I'm motivated. You know, I got the hat on and everything, and all that good stuff and everything. Death Battle decided to drop another video, and uh, this is with Steven Universe and everything. I started by the fly. I'm familiar with both these characters and everything. Um, these are yeah, Steven Universe, the show? I'm not gonna lie, I did not like seeing the universe at, at first. I thought it was really corny. I thought it was really lame. But as I started to watch it, and the thing is, like, it's kind of how I felt with Adventure Time. The same feeling how I felt with uh, Steven Universe is kind of how I felt with Adventure Time and everything. Because um, I, I did not like Adventure Time at first. I did not like Adventure Time at first. I thought it was really different. It was very, I thought it was gonna end up like a. Because remember, because remember, like, I remember when Mad, you guys remember Mad from Cartoon Network and Regular Show? And Adventure, Adventure Time, Uncle Grandpa, uh, Steven. I think they, they all came. I, they all came out around the same time. And I thought I looked at kind of Adventure Time as like another mad, just random and shit moments. A lot of moments that just happened randomly. You know what I'm saying? And they really didn't really make much sense. The characters, the designs were just weird. Candy people. Okay, all right, whatever. It was clean. But then as time got on, as time. Going on, I started watching a regular show, and I started watching Adventure Time religiously. Like, it was like Adventure Time. I like to this day, I'm I'm actually be watching Adventure Time regular show because those two shows were freaking classics. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought with Steve Universe, with Steve Universe, I thought I always thought um, like it was just like it was just kind of lame. The theme song was like brother, okay, <laughs> like where 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 where. You know, but then it grew on me. The show grew on me and everything. I actually grew to like it. I did not finish it. I honestly didn't finish it. The same how I, I never finished Adventure Time because there was a point in time where Adventure Time started to get a little bit too, you know, I just, I wasn't really feeling it. There was a point in time I did not like it. I was not feeling Adventure Time. I heard the ending for Adventure Time was not that great either. No, no, is it? I can't remember. I, I, I know I... Dude, I remember I got the ending spoiled for me for a bunch of time, but then I just I forgot about. It. I don't even remember what happened. So that's one of the reasons why I watched it. I'm rewatching every time. It's probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because I'm loving this ride. I remember all the moments, a lot of the moments from the earlier season and everything. Um, but yeah, Steven Universe, same thing. I know they they just ended recently, and I and I, and I heard my man's you know Steven, he like, the development he goes through in the character like uh no the development he goes through throughout the series, bro, is crazy. He's not. He's a whole lot different, and he even got some movies too. He's a whole lot of like different character than what he was from like when this show first started. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I love you know shows like Adventure Time because Finn, you know, he was just this awkward behind the kid and everything, and just this, this geeky kid. Like just you see him grow, and that's pretty much how you see Steven. You follow Steven through this like this journey and everything. You see him grow as a person, you know, as you know as a character and stuff like that. You see him learn new moves and just you know, develop, you know, and that's one thing I love about a show, you see the maturity in the character and development with every character, and that's one of the reasons why I love Steven Universe, regular show, and Adventure Time, they're all, they were the big three, they were the big three, for sure, at one point, but, that's enough talking, man, we're gonna get on with this video, I I, I don't know who I got winning, I know Star Butterfly is pretty OP, I'm not gonna lie, I won't be saying, I, I want Steven, we, listen, I think we all kind of be in agreement that we want Steven to win this fight, but we won't be surprised if Star Butterfly winds up winning. You know, because she is kind of, uh, she, 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 she's she's low-key strong in her own way, you feel me? But anyway, guys, we'll get on with this video, and uh, let's check it out. All right, the combatants are set in front of the danger right, to all possibilities. Right, I, I didn't play one. I don't want to watch the sponsors. Like, bro, I'd like you to guys take a moment to wish friends of the show. These end up like 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, bro. I, that's a, that'd be a lot for me to edit, man. That, like, yeah. So I was kind of skipped the introduction and everything. I mean, listen, you guys, I'm pretty sure everybody saw it already. It's all right. Adam. All right, let's get it popping. Let's get it twalking. Let's get it twalking. Let's get it twalking. It's the introduction. They got the sport with them. They did a great job with the sport with them. Yo, remember, Steven got that invisi invi invisibility going too, but he won't be able to. 
Now, to play Bruce, we're missing up against you. It'd be vicious. It's a different move. Already? Already? Transformation already? Oh, this is good. He was getting down like this already into the fight. The moment I saw Homie, I knew it was up for her, man. Cause like that was like her mascot in a way in the show. You know, that was like, yo, like the little voice in her ear. It's like, yo, do not surrender. Do not give up. That was always like the voice in her ear from what I remember. So that was obvious, man. The moment I saw him, I'm like, yeah, it's a rap. It's a rap. Chalk it, chalk it, Steven put up a good fight. That was short though, man. The thing is though. Her long range abilities, her ability is just too OP for Steven, man. Like, Steven is OP in his own way. Like I said, both characters are strong in their own way. But her magical abilities, her magical, like, powers and everything is just, it's just second to none, dog. You know, there's no way she was that, honest, honestly, there was no way she was going, Steven was going to hang with all that bull crap, man. All that freaking plot armor and shit, bro. There was no way Steven was hanging with that. As much as I love my boy Steven, and I'm pretty sure we can all agree that we wanted Steven to win that fight. But it was just obvious, man. Like, yo, right out the gate, yo, she hopped into the transformation. Right. When Steven went pink, made it a whole lot tougher on her. And since Steven was a equally superior, at least as far as everyday appearance. Right, didn't I say that? Close range and everything, Steven got that. If it was just, if it was just, you know, I was trying to get physical with her. In the beginning, like you saw that Steven was trying to throw the hands with her. He was throwing. He had like he had like the uh, the the orb around his the orb around his um his his uh wrist and everything. He started throwing that, but you saw how um Star Butterfly was just evading all evading all. She was backing up so because her comfort zone is more of like a long range type of fighting. She's a long range type of fighter, so that's like more of her comfort zone. So she was she was able to get away from Steven's uh uh physical. Uh, brute force physical or uh, whatever that probably didn't make no sense but yeah I mean like she was able to get away from that you know Arkansas what Steven's powers were the sheer versatility of Star's magic was simply not something he was equipped to outmaneuver or exactly overpower. didn't I say that yo I know what I'm talking I said that you know her magic is no way Steven can outlast all that magic she's just too OP her magic is overpowered my boy you know, not all, and like I said, and like my man said, uh, my man, I gotta say, Steven's attacks, like, they're out there. I mean, they're, like, even in the show, his his long-range attacks were out there. But it's nowhere near as Star Butterflies. It's not, it's nowhere near. It was never even close. You can't, it's just, it's not comparable. You know, that's why, like, yo, when she said, yo, like, that whole close range stuff, bro, yeah. Steven, you got that. That's you. Pink state. She didn't even need her wand to go full power, so disarming her mitty is certainly nothing to scoff at. But Star had spells that could destroy a whole pl Star, she's, she's freaking, she's smart. She is extremely smart, bro. You guys know, like, in the show and everything, how smart and intelligent she is, too. Steven, eh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like Naruto, like, part one Naruto. Steven's, like, reminds me of part one Naruto, in a way. Any level of power Steven tried to throw at her. Exactly. But her fly no, on no home, star, you had a no gem you I even watch said, like in the beginning of this video, I said, yo, we all want, we all, we all want Steven to win this fight, but who's going to win? Star. <laughs> like, in the beginning of the video, I said, I want Steven to win, because that's my, that's the homie. That's the homie. But most likely, Star is going to win, because of her magic, her intelligence, how smart she is, um, how she can invade physical, uh, you know, in case she tries, tries to get... Up close with like how Steven was, she can invade that, you know, get away from that, and she didn't even have to use her for her, her wand and everything. She um she didn't even she honestly she didn't even have to go golden on his mind. She didn't even have to, you know what I'm saying? Like bro, there was it was really nothing Steven could do, man. Like yeah, I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, that's that's only one video today. That's all I really wanted to upload for real. But um, let me know, let me know in the comments though. Let me know in the comments down below who you think should have won this fight, Steven or a star. Like I said, I wanted Steven to win, but I knew Star was going to win. But, um, yeah. Buzzy. Stay, stay, stay fresh. But I'm just one k Marcus, aka King Marcus, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, yeah. Buzzy.